Welcome back to StarCraft Trivia with Necro. The category is Content Creators. There are three essential components to any successful esports scene. One, the players. Two, the fans. And three, the content creators. They are the artists in a way of our scene. The competitive part of StarCraft can sometimes be really brutal, really epic, really disappointing, and even frustrating at times. But then there are the content creators, who highlight the fun aspect of it all. There is no other reason to create online content than simply because you enjoy the game. One of the greatest additions to online content that StarCraft has ever had was the animated series StarCrafts. Who made the amazing and hilarious StarCraft cartoon series? Is it A. Carbot, B. Derp Fester, C. StarCraft's Guy, or D. Wife for Ire? The answer is A, Carbot. His YouTube channel is Carbot Animations, and he also does cartoons for other games such as Diablo, World of Warcraft, Warcraft 3, Heroes of the Storm, Hearthstone, Overwatch, and of course, StarCraft. He has almost 200 videos on StarCraft alone, and has now pretty much attained legendary status when it comes to our content creators. The series was so popular, in fact, that he did a fundraiser to be able to work full-time on a StarCraft mod called StarCraft's Mod, in which you can play the actual game with the cartoon graphics of his animations. And guess what? It totally happened. What a madman, dude. Question two. Back in the old days of Wings of Liberty, the online content for StarCraft mostly relied on high-level competitive StarCraft to be entertaining. But in reality, that couldn't be farther from the truth. It was at that point that we realized that ridiculous cheeses at low levels can be just as entertaining as high-level macro games, especially when the cheeses don't even work. Which YouTube channel pioneered the hit series When Cheese Fails? Is it A. Day9 TV, B. Jack Attack TV, C. Life's a Glitch TV, or D. Loco TV? The answer is C, Life's a Glitch TV, or just Black TV for short. When She Fells was a very popular series, hosted and casted by a duo originally from Nova Scotia, Canada, Maximus Black and Nova War. Casting Crazy Games was a stark contrast from the high level professional play that we were used to seeing, and we loved it. The first season of When She Fails is an absolute classic, and you can totally look it up right now on YouTube, just type in When She Fails 101 and you'll get the playlist. Season 1, Episode 8 reached over 1 million views, which is an unbelievable milestone for a StarCraft content creator, and it's something that only very few were able to achieve in this community to this day. Nowadays, they kind of moved away from StarCraft, and they just stream a variety of games at this point, but they also actually started a podcast together called Technical Alpha, which I very much enjoy, by the way, actually. And Maximus Black even wrote a book on streaming, which I read, it's a good read. And last question of the segment, how could I not talk about the OG of online StarCraft content? The man that got so many of us into StarCraft in the first place, Day9. He was goofy, yet analytical, insightful, yet playful. He was everything that any teacher should aspire to be, and he did it with an unrelenting enthusiasm in every single one of his shows, which he called the Day9 Daily. How many Day9 Dailies are there? Is it A, 147, B, 365, C, 500, or D, 738?
The answer is D738. The Day 9 Daily covered a variety of different topics. Brood War, Fun Day Monday, Newbie Tuesday, analysis of professional games, as well as just stories and Q&As sometimes. But let's talk about the greatest piece of StarCraft Online content that was ever created. Day 9 Daily, number 100. That video has racked up almost 4 million views, which is unprecedented for a StarCraft video and will probably never be surpassed. In our 10 years of StarCraft 2, this was the most important video. So daily number 100 is Day9 telling the story of his journey with StarCraft and it's legit more entertaining and enticing than most movies. I actually still remember, this happened like a couple years ago, but I went to a friend's house for a movie night and we were just browsing Netflix to, you know, find a movie to watch. And upon like not really knowing what to watch, I actually proposed to him, yo, do you just want to watch Day 9 Daily number 100? And he was just like, who's Day 9? Like this story made everybody realize how amazing the journey of StarCraft really is and inspired many people to do the same. Whether it was my life of StarCraft with Pig, my life of StarCraft with Fear Dragon, just the life of StarCraft type interviews like Real Talk with It Me JP, the Tasteless podcast with the Tasteless, and my personal favorite, Incoming Transmission with Nice underscore username. Incoming Transmission and Daily Number 100 even inspired me to start my own podcast, which I do mostly with the French Canadian community of Canada, which is my community, because I've been just craving more dailies number 100s, um, so I just decided to start my own. Uh, with the members of my community. So thank you Day9 for the greatest piece of StarCraft content on YouTube. It really is just a timeless story. I hope it reaches 10 million views one day. Hello ladies and gentlemen, today is April 13th, 2010 and it is Day9 Daily number 100. Look as my camera auto adjusts the light. I reposition